Hello, welcome to our next topic on self-defense. In my book, Anatomy of Defense, I uh, combine very uh, different knowledge. It's a century of the wisdom from um, a different type of martial arts combined with uh, psychology, physiology, reflexology, and anatomy. So you could utilize all these skills and uh, uh, survive in, in a very dangerous, life-threatening situation. You don't need to have significant background in, for example, martial arts or even great fitness level. Average person could successfully defend her or himself uh, getting some knowledge from my book or from me. So let me show just a, a very simple uh, moves which will just show you that uh, it's, it's possible to get away from a uh, life-threatening situation. The uh, attacker is choking me. The common mistake which uh, we see on a daily basis, people are trying to release the choke, which is wrong. You have, you'll not die from the choking right away. You have at least a minute or several seconds to do something very useful. In this situation, his uh, painful trigger points are open and I will use it right away. Instead of releasing the choke and maybe he's much, much stronger than me and I cannot succeed, I will attack his trigger point, one third of his shin, shin. one, two. Now he lost his stability and he is moving a little bit forward and he opened another, I stepped back. I increase the space, now I can attack his growing area. And in this case, he cannot choke me anymore. He focused on his pain. I can go away or I can do something uh, to finish the uh, contact with this particular attacker. The person is attacking me with the knife. He put the knife to my uh, neck. Any movement, any wrong movement, and he will cut my... Uh, neck. He is in control. He is very confident. I want to use it against him. I am scared. I show him that I am scared. At the same time, I know what I will do. I will block his forearm with a very fast move. At the same time, my right hand will assist me with the blocking. And I will pull him toward me instead of pulling him ab away from him. And it's the safest area is area between his knife and his body. It's the safest area. The most dangerous area from his knife away because he could damage me more. So my movement is a block like this. Pulling him forward and knee. That's how it will move in real time. The person is attacking me from behind. He has a gun in his right hand, and his experienced attacker, he stabilized my body activity with his left hand. He is pretty sure that he is in control, and I want him to think so. I should show him that I am scared, and I, I am allowing him to be in control. At the same time, I am defending myself in the most optimal way I can. I move sharply and at the same time I'm attacking his trigger point. He's in pain. I'm pulling his gun away and he lost his weapon.